With the general election a little over two months away, you're seeing more campaign ads. CBS 17 is your local election headquarters, and we've made a pledge to go beyond the race and test the accuracy of those ads. Tonight, digital reporter Jody McCreary digging deeper into an ad that's critical of a state Senate candidate from Johnston County. The ad focuses on Alan Wellens and brings up an issue from a quarter century ago, back when our state was hit by Hurricane Fran. It was paid for by a group called the Citizens for a Better NC Senate and calls back to when the Johnston County Democrat ran for the Senate in 1996. It quotes newspaper stories saying, in the aftermath of Fran, he used his political influence to get a generator to cure tobacco on his farm, while hospitals and nursing homes were without power. But there was a story in the Smithfield Herald from later that year. It quoted then state official Richard Moore as saying no farmers got generators until hospitals, nursing homes, and water treatment plants were back up and running. The uh, agreement with the Farm of Agriculture was that they would be mail available to the farmers after the human needs were met, and that's what was done. In response, the group cited a newspaper article from even later saying patients were without power. So who are the citizens for a better NC Senate? At CBS17.com, you can read more about the group and find out how much they've spent on political ads. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.